Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can leverage Azure Key Vault in your single tenant or multi-tenant scripts with PowerShell so you can securely grab secrets you might be leveraging for authentication or getting access tokens into your downstream customer environments. Many of us are familiar with the secure application model. You may or may not be aware that you leverage it, but certain tools like CIPP, for example, leverage this architecture so that we can get access tokens into our downstream customer environments with the GDAP relationships that we have in place. This is a script as an example here that I wrote that is a multi-tenant script. It loops through all my customers and every user that has a mailbox to try to find if they have any type of inbox rules and specifically ones that are related to forwarding as an example, just for a security script that I run periodically in tenants. But the main thing here is that this script in itself, you know, passes through, you want to pass through basic uh, secrets, if you will, for your app registration, including this refresh token. And these are very, very sensitive uh, artifacts, if you will, for access that we can get into not only our tenant, but our downstream customers. So it's really important that you manage these securely. And Azure Key Vault's a really great way to do that. So this script in and of itself, again, loops through all my customers and grabs this information. It'll output that into a CSV and this particular report. I just have one test customer in here that has uh, forwarding rules or inbox rules, so that's why there's only the one. But that's essentially what this script is doing. So normally, you know, I'd have to pass all this in and get this set up here, but I've created a different script that you can leverage, and certainly there's different ways you can go about this. But this is kind of a loading script in that it's going to create you an Azure Key Vault and it's going to store all of these secrets that we have that we want to leverage in other scripts to get access tokens again for our customer environments. And in order to not have to pass those through every time, maybe copy and paste them from some local PC or manage them securely, we are going to uh, leverage Azure Key Vault here and get them all stored. And then we're going to call them and I've updated that script that you see here to really go through and connect to our Azure environment and go ahead and grab all those secrets for the variables. So it's a much smoother process. It's way more secure. Whenever you run this script here, you're going to be prompted to get or put it in the Azure Key Vault name. Keep in mind, this does have to be really specific in that it is unique to everybody uh, in the world. So you do have to call this something very unique to your environment. Uh, put some nomenclature around a dash. I put mine as T minus 365 dash key vault as an example. You want to define your resource group name. And this is a resource group that already exists. You could alter this script to also create the resource group, but I just put it in there that you already had one. And then your location. So East US, South Central US, whatever you have there should be the same as your resource group that you've already set up. And this is effectively going through and uh, taking in and passing in all the parameters that you set here to go ahead and load into Key Vault. I'm blurring out my secrets here for privacy, but this is how you would load that in. You would go to your traverse into your file path. You would then load that up and then you'd pass in these parameters here, which are all your secrets, including, you know, maybe the app display name of your uh, app registration, as you'll need that in other scripts that you run. And then from there, you know, it'll go through, it'll make sure you have the correct modules, it'll install them if they're not, and then it goes ahead and creates these secrets. And as you can traverse now to your key vault, that's part of that resource group, you go into secrets and you can see all of your secrets that were listed here based off of that loading script. So now back in PowerShell, all you would have to do is traverse to your file path, call the PowerShell script. And in this case, I'm just passing in a parameter of the key vault name here and I'm not putting any secrets in. And it all it's going to do is just have me sign in and authenticate to my Azure environment here so again, you can do that securely. It's gonna go ahead and prompt you for your credentials there. After you're done though, it'll go ahead and begin to run through that entire script. And it's connecting again throughout all my customers there. And we've kind of garnered that securely without having to worry about again, storing these secrets locally, passing them in manually here. It's a very insecure way of managing this. There's some tenants I don't have access to. So that's why I'm getting these errors here. Um, but then that exports uh, this report. So that's everything I wanted to showcase in this video. I'll definitely have these scripts linked either in this video or on my blog.